hey guys welcome back to my channel for those who know me as you should for those who don't i won't lie please do better guys i know it's been a minute and a half and a lot has been happening guys like <laughs> if it's not school it's life if it's not life it's the other life if it's not the other life it's friends if it's not friends it's family if it's not family it's my relationship guys a lot of things have been happening is what i'm trying to tell you you know starting a youtube channel during holidays and expecting that you're gonna be able to take videos edit those videos and post them during schools is i don't know it's the fact that i'm back again and it's holidays again so I'm, i might fall into that habit but i'm gonna try not to i'm gonna try to be consistent this time i'm gonna try guys when i tell you i literally have a schedule from now until july of the videos packed up so like we we're back guys we're on we're on like i have the next couple of videos planned out so tune in for that tune in for that but yeah man um this is a video another one of these and today we're basically gonna have a recap yeah i'm going to tell you guys what's been happening while i was not shooting because guys i've been going through a lot a lot has happened the past couple of months the past couple of weeks the past couple of years the past couple of months a lot has been happening and i just feel like before i'm able to actually come back to youtube i have to first tell you guys what i've been going through so y'all can understand so i can be like you know what we get you not because felt you know what i'm saying so yeah man um yeah let's get into the video wait before that i know a lot of people usually do these videos doing their makeup or hair or nails or guys personally i can't do makeup to save my life i can't i can't do much to be honest I, i'm talentless that was painful but yeah man so you guys are just gonna have to sit there go fetch your popcorn go fetch your cool drink go fetch your shampoo go fetch anything you need for this video just go fetch it so that you can sit down and be cozy and listen to the story time because the tea that is about to tea is gonna be amongst the teas that are teeing you know what i'm saying <laughs> that does not make sense but anyways yeah now let's get into the video firstly i'd like to talk about the relationship i've had with myself the past couple of months so um i am 20 which most of you already knew and i've basically been living with my parents for the past 20 years i know it's been such a long time and i won't lie i was like those teenagers that you basically see in like i wasn't living my teenage life guys like i never went out I never I never did anything I was like literally home 24 7 I woke up at like clean the house and like chill watch TV and whatever go to school come back it was literally like that and I never really had friends that went out or celebrated their birthdays like that so I was literally home all the time the only time I was out was when I was out with my family it was just sad guys so yeah 20 years I was you know in home in the house at home <laughs> And yeah, man, I just felt, if I had to be honest, trapped. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I finally got the opportunity to leave this house. And yeah, I moved to Rez April, the beginning of April. I moved to Rez. And when I moved to Rez, guys, when I say, when you go from being somebody who is so used to being around people to having to be forced to be alone, it's it's a psychological shift guys i literally lost myself there was a point where i was like adapting to like um people around me's personalities because i felt like i was not i don't know who i was i was not doing me the correct way i don't know like i was just going through a lot and yeah man i just psychologically mentally emotionally physically i was going to the pit guys when i tell you i lost weight i lost it if i started being consistent with the gym when i moved to res right now i'd have abs I've been wanting I've been manifesting abs ever since I was like 18 but guys I would have abs because it was that bad guys it went from me being a honey that ate three days yo, three times 
a day to barely eating i would like drink water most of the time guys i was sad and yeah man there was a point where i used to chill with my boyfriend a lot but then my boyfriend started being home a lot so i was forced to chill myself because i also lost friends that i used to be with a, a lot so we're gonna come back to that one later later but yeah man i was kind of forced to be alone because i also didn't want to stress my family and yeah man i was put in a position where i was utterly alone and i won't lie i did go through depression i even had to start seeing a therapist which really did help me because i'm way better now but yeah man i just i was going through a lot um i was contemplating everything there was a point where i wanted to drop out of school because i was thinking like what i'm studying is not really what i want to do or like guys I, a lot was happening i was crying a lot and i was just in the pits man um yeah man i felt like i had no one i felt like nobody could understand what i was going through i felt like if i would have told anyone how i was feeling it would just be me being a baggage to that person so i had to force myself to deal with a lot of things alone it started with me being i really scared to be alone like i'd literally call my boyfriend and be like hey literally always be around you like if, if, if it means you have to call me while you're at home and you're sleeping and the phone is there and i'm just there on the phone watching you sleep it's okay because then i won't feel like i'm by myself you know what i'm saying and yeah man i just i had to learn to live by myself i had to learn to be independent i had to learn to be alone when i tell you guys having to adapt to living alone is not the easiest thing ever i literally mean it like i shut up those people that are independent those people that started being independent at like the age of 18 because i was here a 20 year old and i was suffering i was suffering i was suffering it was a lot to deal with and i won't lie i did have family that i could run to but i was trying to be miss independent when i tell you guys there were some times where i had had no food for a couple of weeks in a month and my mom sent me grocery money every month she sent me grocery money it's just that it started with me I don't know i was reckless with money i won't lie then towards the end it was just me saving a lot of money trying to like save for this trip that i'm going next year with my friends so yeah man like guys i i literally went through the pits i was struggling with school i was struggling with maintaining friendships i was struggling with a healthy relationship with my boyfriend i was struggling with a healthy relationship with my family guys a lot was happening i was not okay but yeah man so yeah um i won't even lie to you what really 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 did help me through this tough time was my relationship with god guys when i tell you this book right here this book right here it literally saved me because if it wasn't for me finding God, I backslid. Yeah, I'm a Christian by heart and by faith, but I didn't really have a relationship with God the way I wanted to. So it started with me like praying every, I think three hours, three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, that's how it started, but it still didn't feel like my connection with God was like strong as it was supposed to be. Then I started going to church. Guys, shout out to the Vault Tux. I was the type of person that used to complain and say, no, I don't go to church because I haven't found a church that has my heart or a church that convinces me to go to church. But guys, when I talk about the vault, the vault is that one church where, I don't know, guys, I don't know if it's because it's mostly a youth church. So they related to me, you know, like every time i was going through something i'd go to church and literally the day i'd go to church they would be talking about exactly what i'm going through and giving me advice and giving me verses from the bible telling me how to deal with it guys it literally helped me so much with my connection with god and also um there's this challenge of uh i started doing called the jesus challenge j is for journaling so you just like take out your book write out how you feel and everything e is for experience so 15 minutes you put worship music you know you connect to god listen to what he's trying to say you know talk to him you know and i'm saying um s is for scripture so you know um i've been reading the book of matthews and i think i'm on matthew chapter 15 if i'm not mistaken so every day i just read one chapter and yeah man um read the scripture you is for understanding so you just talk to yourself say what have you learned about god what have you learned about yourself how can you 
apply what you've learned to your life you know what i'm saying and an s is for um speak so get down on your knees you pray you like thank god you like talk to god you know about what you've learned about what you're going through and everything and yeah man i won't even lie to you that has been helping me with my mental health my physical health my emotional health my relationship that when i tell you that everything i've prayed for it's shown itself or i've seen proof that it's gonna happen because one thing about god he will forever answer your prayers and him not giving you what you want is him answering your prayer either telling him not yet or i mean either telling you not yet or telling you that that is not something that is meant to be in your life you know what i'm saying so yeah man that like me strengthening my relationship with god is what really really did help me i won't lie at the beginning it was hard it was hard because i was not used to reading the bible i was not used to praying as much i was not used to going to church so it was very very extremely difficult i won't even lie to you but once i got a hang of it like everything just started going like this it started going smoothly guys God has literally helped me with everything that I've been suffering with from school to friends to relationships to me to him to life in in general like I've been praying about everything and that has literally helped me get to where I am right now and then yeah next let's talk about relationship with friends guys when I tell you I have learned things I did not know about people I've experienced experiences that I did not expect to experience in my life. I have seen things that were not meant to be seen. Guys, I lost a very, very, very close friend. Someone I loved with my whole heart. She meant everything to me. She taught me so much that I needed. And I felt like I taught her a lot as well. And I think that's why we came into each other's lives, to learn from each other. But you know, some people listen so yeah man i took that as what it was and you know i have nothing no uh, uh, <laughs> i have no animosity um towards her i have no beef with her i don't hate her and i wouldn't come here and trash talk her because i would not appreciate someone going behind my back talking shit about me someone that i did consider my friend so why would i do that so yeah man there's nothing but love and light on my side i don't know about her but i wish her nothing but the best and you know yeah man and yeah man i lost a lot of friends i had this nice cute friendship group that i had that i lost um and yeah man those people literally were like those people that helped me go through a lot that i was going through in university so losing them and having to deal with helping myself and being independent and relying on myself was something that i had to do that was not easy at all it was extremely difficult but yeah man i lost a lot of friends but hey man you know one door opens for another one to close yeah one door closes one door closes for another one to open so yeah man with those friends that i lost i also gained a lot of friends i gained lifers that i believe in life is but hey man if it's not meant to be don't be god would not put people in your life that aren't meant to be in your life longer than they're supposed to be so with the people i have right now as well if they leave you know i'm gonna take it as god's timing you know what i'm saying so yeah man I, i made really good people i have these really good friends i have like this one really really good friend of mine grace who lives at my res who has literally been my backbone when i say that girl she is just she was sent from god is what i'm trying to say she literally just helped me go through a lot of the things i was going through i won't even lie to you and i never really felt alone when i was with her because we spent a lot of time together like guys it was so bad people even started thinking we're dating guys i'm straight like I, i feel like there's nothing about me that even gives not straight people say it's my piercing guys i'm straight i have a boyfriend i'm straight guys i'm straight i don't even know why people no guys i'm straight trust me i i I know i trust me i know but yeah man um so yeah man me and grace became very 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 close and yeah she's one of the people that i really would love to you know grow old with because 
she taught me that there are some people in your life that will literally genuinely care about you that will protect you that will literally spoil you right guys when i say i finally found myself some friends that i can say now nah, my friend does that for me i don't need a man to do that for me like it's just it's a breath of fresh air guys because personally i don't like depending on gents i won't lie I, I can't i can't i also don't like depending on my friends but you know but it's just it's just nice to feel like you know you have friends that take you out when you feel sad friends that buy you food when you like just craving them and stuff like that so yeah man i literally found myself really really good lifers if i had to say so myself so yeah the friend department lost some gained some it was a sad happy you know feeling like at the beginning i was like miserable because i lost someone that i really cared about some people that i really loved but at the end it was a thing of okay i get why i lost those people they did not fit into the chapter or the character development <sighs> sorry guys my best friend the character development that i'm currently going through right now you know what i'm saying so yeah man um yeah i went through something and i'm just happy that i'm better now and i'm in a better place so yeah that's friendship wise now let's talk about family you said me god friends family yes family not gonna lie guys i don't believe in sharing to the public about the inner happenings of your family because family is something you keep sacred so i'm gonna just brush off and summarize the family topic um i distanced myself from my family because i thought i was less independent and i wanted to learn how to live alone and that caused me to go through a lot i won't even lie to you um but yeah man um but all in all i'm just glad that my family has always been by my side my family's always loved me cared about me always been there for me they've been supporting me and my cousins my parents my brothers everyone that i consider family also really did help me when i tell you every time i got sick my mom would literally the next day even all the same day she'd go to the to the pharmacist and get every medication that is there to make sure that i get better so guys it is so cute it is so cute man so yeah man my family yeah man they were it was shaky you know on the family department but my family has just always supported me so much so i appreciate them for that because i swear if it wasn't for the family i have right now i would be a whole lot of mess i would be a whole lot of mess so i appreciate my family and i thank them for that then last school A few moments later Guys Everyone who's not in university Everyone who's not in university I'm gonna basically give you a What people don't tell you about university One thing about movies We already saw from High School Musical That high school is romanticized University is worse because when I tell you when you watch things like to all the boys I love before when they go to university or any show that talks about college or university, they romanticize it so much like oh no freedom, oh no partying all the time, all you need to do is pass to get your degree, start working. It's not that simple, guys. Failing is a thing. You're gonna go from being an A student to being a basically scraping fifties in university. When I tell you university is the reason for all the problems I have today. Like guys, university, university is one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life, period. I don't think it gets hard, okay, no, let me not say that. But all I'm saying is university is one of the hardest things I ever had to do in my life. And they didn't tell me, they didn't tell me. Guys, let's first talk about groove culture. Groove culture is a disease that the youth has to go through. Guys, when I told, remember when I said I was that child that never went out, I was always at home. Guys, when I got introduced to groove culture, it had me like this. Groove culture is something that we need to talk about, guys. 
it is a disease guys when i tell you there's some people that go to zen to day in day out day in day out day in day out pablo the strip guys spring up people are always grooving guys i'm glad i live in the outskirts of hatfield i live in brooklyn if i lived in hatfield i don't know what would happen to me because hatfield my brother-in-law once said hatfield is like a mini new york guys because accuracy the accuracy in that one statement hatfield is a wild place guys when you see people talking about hatfield and you think they're over exaggerating they're not even they're not even going into depth the depthness that they're supposed to go into hatfield is another planet hatfield i've learned so much from hatfield that i didn't think i'd learn in my life guys most of the trauma i have is because of that place hatfield is dangerous it is a dangerous 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 place when i tell you my friend got a new phone six days later gone guys they will give you a rock nah? watch my rock let me take your phone and go call someone hand me phone my channel is it doesn't click that it's happening they will say guard my car and not leave with the keys and take your stuff guys hatfield is not a real place school is just difficult if it wasn't for my therapist at school i was not gonna make it this far because one thing that they don't tell you about university university makes you go through mental trauma because you will think wow i got accepted because i was good man you will get excluded guys guys let me give you advice see those classes that you think you can miss and you can get go to class guys make time for class guys i know you get to a point where you choose it's either i go to class or i do my assignments i'd rather do my assignments guys make sure you never get to a position where you have to choose between class and assignments because let me tell you something let me tell you something when you're studying for exams the things you heard in class when you're reading those textbooks it will shangana. but now you're going to be reteaching yourself new things for the exam don't put yourself in that position guys i cannot stress this enough go to class don't bank class i know here you're free you're independent don't bank class do all your assignments when you get them don't say you have time there is no such thing as time in university my boy guys university you have to already go there you have to go in with the mindset of i'm gonna be serious i'm getting this degree i'm not gonna let anything get between me because everything and anything can get between you you have to just do better as a person do your assignments on time go to class study guys guys studying and going to class go hand in hand because you have to hear what they say guys even if you don't take notes just go and sit down and listen so when you're starting to to study the things that you are reading are the things that you've heard before but in some cases like november exams you 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 write or study chapters that you've never done but that, that's moving <laughs> that's moving too far into the future study focus on school guys school is hard university is another thing it's too romanticized we should just please can we just do better as individuals we've learned now let's study okay yeah guys um yeah so that's all i have to say guys um thank you for tuning in thank you for watching this far please don't forget to do the most like subscribe comment send to your crush your ex your boyfriend your neighbors send to everyone guys everyone must get to this part everyone must make it to the end because i feel like the university difficult part is the one that needs to be reiterated out of everything else in the video but yeah man tell me if you like this type of content if you don't you're on the wrong youtube video because i'm still gonna post this type of content so there's nothing i can do really you know what i'm saying tell me what your struggles have been this year and how you overcame them you know yeah thank you bye